Hello everyone, I am Dolmio007 and welcome to my channel Games Are Us. In my videos descriptions you can find links to my streaming channel on Twitch as well as Discord server link and Facebook fan page. So guys, let the games begin! Hi everyone and welcome to yet another Sinoc walkthrough. Today we're gonna go and focus on a mind badge in this video. Uh, but don't forget to smash that red button and subscribe so don't miss out on anything and uh, you can support my efforts to uh, get my YouTube to the next level. So we have to go uh, west from uh, from our previous gym where we just got a relic badge. I've already pre fight mainly all these NPCs I'm trying to uh, cut out and get you straight there. Sorry about that. Quickly just change some Pokemon on the lead after fighting all those NPCs. You don't see me them fighting but obviously I have to fight them as they go which um, then I'm trying to, you know, cut it out for your benefit, so you don't really have to watch that. I'm sure you guys will be fine with the NPCs anyhow. Um, but there's a bit of a walking to do to get to the next gym, to get a mine badge. So, uh, yeah, we just have to continue going west again, sort of go back on ourselves in this game, unfortunately, to get to the next, uh, to the next gym, the next gym leader. So, let's we'll go down here to the south a little bit but in general we keep going towards where we first came from uh, towards the uh, twin leaf sort of thing as you can see every now and then i have to go and visit those uh, pocket centers and i do advise you guys also remember keep doing so so you don't get surprised um but yeah we already done this gym by the way so unfortunately we have to go literally all the way to the west of the uh of the map of Sinoc region uh, to do the next map but to be honest with you guys this is not far now we're almost there uh, so uh, it's not really that bad none of none of the maps in this game technically is that far really I mean sometimes people think to themselves oh no I have to go back this much uh, and they just can't be asked sort of thing but to be fair the way the ferries are spread out and uh, you can literally get anywhere fairly quick all you gotta do is go to the nearest ferry where you need to get to usually. Sinog is a little bit more tricky and when you do something for the first time those uh, ferries are not unlocked yet until you defeat certain gyms unfortunately uh, but next one in the next video next walkthrough you're gonna be able to unlock yet another ferry service but for now we're pretty much there now kind of live city uh, here we're gonna have a uh, another gym to defeat uh, to beat of course uh, so quickly pocket center as usual just get the hp back before going to the gym don't forget guys obviously because then you're going to come here and you're going to have to go back anyway so we got mike to start with i would suggest to actually have a gallardos here to start with i sort of didn't change it but it doesn't really matter uh, i'm pretty much going to go through all these uh, npcs without even uh, going to pocket center or reviving anybody there's no really point if you got that similar team like mine which is like a basic team that you can have then you should be pretty uh, pretty good anyhow because if your level is roughly about 90 then none of those NPCs is gonna cause you any hassle or they shouldn't really as long as your Pokemon are trained okay guys so I always gonna uh, put emphasis on training your Pokemon and preferably having the right nature okay so uh, because otherwise it might be a little bit difficult so obviously like Ayados for example like speed and attack uh, make sure your Pokemon are trained in early stages of the there's not really that much of a hassle so um, even without training sometimes you, you, you can probably get away with a lot of the time but at this stage when you are uh, in Sinoc and then eventually you need Nova even Hoenn is a little bit more difficult, so to be fair, I always advise to have a training done, guys. And then you have no problems. So we've got uh, one more NPC. Oh, no, sorry. We've got another one. Actually, another two that you can't just see. Yet. There's one at the bottom as well you have to get through as well. So as you can see, my Gallardos is still alive, but he won't be alive for much longer. Uh, it can probably do one more or two more. Uh, I think he's going to only do one more uh, NPC and he's going to die. But the Earthquake, of course, is very handy against those Pokemon here. 
that's why I always remind uh, when I do these videos that I love Earthquake on the Gallardos. It, it just works. I don't know. I love it. Uh, obviously, some people use Crunch. That's fair enough. But Earthquake always been very handy uh, to have, to be honest. So you can see now my Gallardos is finally got killed. So now I'm getting my Duck Trio out because, again, because of an Earthquake in particular. And uh, the Earthquake here is quite handy to have. So Earth moves, Gallardos if you go with the Earthquake, should pretty much uh, go through, this, uh, through these NPCs fairly easily. we got one more left. Logan. Uh, this is going to be a little bit tricky. He starts with a Scarm. So I'm not going to finish off his Scarm with my Dactyl, unfortunately. Uh, I'm pretty much probably going to go for Magnazone anyhow. The Magnazone might come handy finally for something. There we go. So obviously not going to be effective against here. A pr problem is... Oh, actually, I don't even... By the way, guys, I don't even use any items, to be honest, alright? So, even without using any items, uh, I don't have any enhanced items for any of these Pokémon. So, they just go as they go with the basic training and just to make sure and to show you that it is doable, it is fairly easy, anyone can do it. So now you see my Cloyster is in action, but uh, he'll manage now, manage to finish off. Cloyster is actually quite a good Pokemon for PvE, I personally like it. And I even use sometimes Cloyster in a PvP sometimes too, to be honest, like in Tier 1. It can be, uh, can be quite a good one to have, even uh, Sometimes battle queue, by the way. So, finally we got Byron now. Uh, again, obviously I went and healed myself. Don't forget to go and heal yourselves beforehand. And Gallardos is in action. But he's not going to like the Skarmory now, unfortunately. So Skarmory managed to finish them off. Obviously I do have a uh, range of Pokemon. Whatever he's going to throw at me with this team it's not going to really be an issue. I might lose Pokemon here and there. I'm sure you might as well. Uh, so now we have Empoleon again for example which uh, for example Earthquake would be very handy again for that sort of Pokemon. Or simply get a Discharge with Magnezone. Fortunately he's got super effective moves against my Pokemon as well. But that's never mind to be, to be honest guys. This is just uh, this is just to show you how easy it can be. So we've got another one, a Mega now, which again, Earthquake does it for you. Simple Dactrio is actually uh, capable of uh, finishing off one or two Pokemon here as well. So, gotta be in action. Okay, just to, just to basically finish things off. But like I mentioned, you shouldn't have any problems and after this we have only two more gyms left so we're pretty much there now guys we're pretty much there there is a video already on my youtube as well that you can check out how to beat sinoch elite 4 as well it's updated as well for unity version 2023 so you can actually see how easy this is these days with a simple team like these like this to be honest um but there we go so yeah guys this is it you got another batch two more left Video's going to be coming out straight away as well, so um, I hope this video was helpful guys. I hope uh, that proved the point how easy it can be these days to do these gyms. And I hope I see you in the next video, so don't forget to subscribe so you get notified about the new videos, new workflows coming out. And thank you very much for watching. So uh, hopefully guys, I can, I'll see you in the next one, the next couple of badges in Sinog. are going to be coming out straight afterwards, so uh, see you in the next one. So take care for now.